What's up, guys? It's your boy, JP. Um, I just came out of seeing the Lion King remake, adaptation, whatever you want to call it. The live-action CGI Lion King. Um, it was fine, you know? <laughs> uh, I went in knowing that it got a pretty low uh, score on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that Rotten Tomatoes is everything, but, you know... It's like the go-to source to see if a movie's gonna be good or not, right? But I try not to let that that score affect my um, experience watching the movie. Yeah, we all know it. this is gonna be pretty much a, like almost a shot for shot of the original Lion King from 1994, and that's what it is, pretty much. Like, there's not much new about it. Uh, it's pretty much the same movie, the animated film but now in live action or cgi real realistic looking i actually i i missed like the beginning of the movie i i didn't get to see the whole circle of life opening or whatnot so that kind of sucked well, I, I guess i was watching online or whatever it was probably online by now most likely i don't know what to say about it it's just fine i i will admit i was pretty bored watching the movie because you know, as someone who's saw the, seen the original, it's just like you—you you know what's gonna happen, you know. And they didn't—I I feel like they didn't throw enough new stuff in there to change it up. So it's just like literally watching the same movie you've seen before. And this movie's gonna make money, you know, despite that. You know, like people just love the Lion King. It's not gonna matter at the end of the day, right? Like, I, the theater I was just in, which is usually empty, it's like a. Almost like a, a, a um, indie house theater, um, but there's like a good amount of people. There's like at least like maybe thirty, maybe forty people in there total, and uh, we're all just sitting there watching. Sometimes we chuckled from like uh, Timon and, and Pumbaa, you know, because they are the comedy relief of the movies. But you know, voiced by Seth Rogen, I forgot the other guy's name, but like, yeah, just. It was just fine, you know, like, call ourselves, like, being quiet most of the time, you know, like, call myself, especially, just sitting there, just like, okay, nice, <laughs> it looks good, you know, visually, it's amazing, but you just, you just so used to it, you know what I'm saying, like, but I, I still, I still look forward to these, these Disney live action remakes, so, you know, like, I still want to like them, you know, like, Mulan, I'm looking forward to that, uh, whatever else they come up with, uh, Hunchback, for sure. Once they do Hunchback, that's going to be... I, I got to see that shit, like, day one. That's my movie. Mulan is going to be a little different with, you know, more serious tone and not much singing. Now, see, I'm talking about other shit. I'm not even talking about Lion King. Like, it's, it's, it's Lion King. This is the, the animated film, the best animated film. It's regarded as that, you know? Like, but I, I don't even know what to say about this remake. It's just okay. I'm about to turn this off because I wanted to get my fresh raw thoughts like as soon as I came out the theater. But I don't. I really. I'm. I'm. I'm lost for words. It's just. It's fine. So uh, tell me what you think about it. Um, did you see it yet? Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. But I recommend you go see it. Yeah, if you're a Lion King fan, for sure, go out and watch it. You know, it's not a terrible movie. It's fine. I thought Donald Glover was okay. But also realized they didn't really have much to do. Like they probably completed their line readings for this movie like in a matter of weeks, maybe even in a month. Like I don't see how, you know, like because The Lion King is such a straightforward movie, right? You know, Simba wants to become king, and then Scar has Mufasa killed, which was pretty sad. That whole scene, you know, the stampede scene, was pretty sad, you know, to watch again. But even that, like, you could see exactly what was going to happen. It was pretty much shot for shot. But I almost feel like the, the animated version did it better. You know, like, it's the craziest thing. Like, animation version, I just felt it. I felt it more. Maybe because it was it's the original. So, obviously, I, you just, you're so used to it, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to really say about it. Songs are nice. Oh, the new Beyonce song was nice. Nice to listen, but... Other than that, it's whatever. So, uh, that's all I gotta say. Peace.
go in the story while I was watching Lion King in this theater, right? Um, there was these, not to be racist, you know, it's not even racist. Anyway, there's the, like these little two white girls with their mom, and she also had a baby in her hand. <laughs> these little girls were more entertaining than the actual movie because they were just getting up and dancing around and, and having fun because I think they were like just bored to bricks by the movie. I don't know if they already saw it. I mean, they, they were like maybe 10 years old or whatever. Maybe a little, a little bit younger than that. But these little girls were hilarious. Like, they were, they were so savage. <laughs> they, they were just like getting up and running around and just doing anything else but sitting down and watching the movie. And at one moment, when um, that song, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, was playing, they were dancing to it. Like... They were like hula dancing and shit. And I was trying my best not to crack up in the theater because I didn't want them to think I was laughing at them, but they were so funny. <laughs> so I got a little bit of entertainment out of watching Lion King tonight. Yeah, I, was, I had to, you know, put that in as a little bonus story for the video. So, <laughs> peace.